Have you ever wondered how a single event from the past can still cast its shadows over the present? Picture this. The year is 1986. A catastrophic event unfolds at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Radiation is released into the atmosphere, and the world watches in horror. The fallout of this disaster extends far beyond the borders of Ukraine, contaminating wildlife across Europe. Fast forward to the 21st century, Germany and Austria are grappling with a surprising discovery. Their wild boars are alarmingly radioactive. But here's the twist. This isn't the legacy of Chernobyl. Rather, it's the long-lasting impact of nuclear weapons testing from the 1960s. The culprit? Cesium-137, absorbed by deer truffle mushrooms that the boars feast on. This discovery highlights a profound truth. The effects of nuclear events are far-reaching and enduring. They seep into our environment, our food chains, and our wildlife, imprinting their mark for generations. The unseen fallout, you might say. Yet this isn't a tale of despair. It's a reminder of our responsibility, a call to action for responsible nuclear energy use. As we harness the power of the atom, we must remember the lessons of the past, the enduring shadows they cast, and the unseen fallout they leave behind. A single nuclear event can leave an imprint for generations to come, in our next scenes, we'll delve deeper into the ill-fated day of the Chernobyl disaster and the aftermath that followed. Stay tuned as we unravel this intricate tapestry of history, science, and human resilience. The day was April 26, 1986, when a routine safety test went horribly wrong. On this ill-fated day, the fourth reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine was scheduled to undergo a test, a safety procedure meant to simulate a power outage with the goal of assessing whether the slowing turbine could provide enough electrical power to keep the coolant pumps running until the emergency diesel generator was activated. However, as the afternoon turned into evening, a series of unfortunate decisions and design flaws began to seal a grim fate. Reactor 4 was a type known as RBMK, a design notorious for its instability at low power. To prepare for the test, the operators reduced the reactor's power but inadvertently triggered an unexpected power surge. The operators, ill-prepared for the situation, attempted to increase the reactor's power. In doing so, they disabled automatic shutdown mechanisms and removed a significant number of control rods, the graphite-tip devices that help control the nuclear reaction within the reactor, from the reactor's core. This resulted in an uncontrollable power surge. The heat generated caused fuel pellets in the reactor to explode, leading to a series of steam explosions that blew the 1,000 ton lid off the reactor. This exposed the reactor core to the environment, releasing an enormous amount of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The graphite moderator, essential for controlling the nuclear reaction, was set alight by the high temperatures, causing a fire that burned for nine days. The flames, Reaching up to the sky sent a plume of highly radioactive smoke and dust across large parts of the Soviet Union and Europe. The Chernobyl disaster wasn't just a result of an unfortunate chain of events, it was a catastrophic combination of a flawed reactor design and serious mistakes made by the plant operators. The RBMK reactors were known for their positive void coefficient, a characteristic that made them dangerously unstable at low power levels. Yet the operators, not fully understanding the reactor's quirks, continued with the safety test. The Soviet authorities initially downplayed the disaster, even as the reactor burned and radioactive material was spewed into the atmosphere. The nearby town of Pripyat wasn't immediately evacuated. The residents, unaware of the danger they were in, went about their lives as radiation levels spiked. While the immediate response to the disaster was fraught with denial and misinformation, the long-term impact of the Chernobyl accident was far-reaching. It led to a re-evaluation of the safety of RBMK reactors and nuclear power as a whole. It also shaped the way we think about nuclear energy, influencing policies and perceptions to this day. In the blink of an eye, the world's worst nuclear disaster had begun. As the smoke cleared, the true scale of the disaster began to unfold. The immediate aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster was a scene of chaos and confusion. The explosion at the nuclear power plant had released an unfathomable amount of radiation into the atmosphere, a silent and invisible killer that would prove to be far more deadly than the initial blast. In the hours that followed, the local authorities scrambled to evacuate nearby residents, a daunting task given the lack of understanding about the true nature of the threat. Families were torn from their homes with little more than the clothes on their back, under the guise of a temporary evacuation. 
little did they know, most would never return. Meanwhile, the brave men and women tasked with containing the radiation faced an uphill battle. The fire in the reactor core burned for days, spewing radioactive particles into the air. Engineers and firefighters worked tirelessly, risking their lives to prevent further catastrophe. Many of these first responders, or liquidators as they came to be known, would later suffer severe health problems as a result of their exposure. The fallout was not limited to the immediate vicinity of the power plant. The radioactive cloud spread far and wide, leaving a trail of contamination in its wake. The effects were felt across Europe, with increased levels of radiation detected as far away as Scandinavia and the United Kingdom. As the days turned into weeks, and then months, the enormity of the disaster became apparent. An exclusion zone was established, encompassing the nearby city of Pripyat and several surrounding villages. This area, once home to tens of thousands of people, was now a radioactive wasteland. The Chernobyl disaster was a wake-up call for the world. It highlighted the potential dangers of nuclear power and the devastating consequences when things go wrong. Yet despite the tragic loss of life and environmental damage, it also served as a testament to human bravery and resilience in the face of adversity. The years following the disaster saw a dramatic shift in attitudes towards nuclear energy. Safety regulations were tightened and new measures were put in place to prevent a similar incident from happening again. However, the shadow of Chernobyl still looms large, a stark reminder of the potential cost of our reliance on nuclear power. Chernobyl was no longer just a place, it had become a warning. The legacy of the disaster continues to resonate, a poignant symbol of the dangers of nuclear energy and the lasting impact it can have on our world. Once a bustling city, Chernobyl now stands as a haunting reminder of the past. Chernobyl, a name etched in our collective memory, was once a thriving city, humming with life and activity. Today, it serves as a stark testament to the destructive potential of human error and nuclear power. Nestled in the heart of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, the city stands, not as it once was, but as a ghost town, a shell of its former self. The exclusion zone, a roughly thousand square mile area surrounding the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, is a silent world where nature has begun to reclaim the remnants of human civilization. This area, designated for evacuation in the wake of the disaster, is now mostly devoid of human life, but not entirely. Against all odds, some individuals have chosen to stay, to live their lives in the shadow of the disaster. These individuals, often referred to as self-settlers or resettlers, number around a thousand. They live within the exclusion zone, leading a life that is, in many ways, a throwback to a bygone era. Despite the inherent risks, these hardy souls have chosen to return to their homes, to the land they have known and loved all their lives. The city of Chernobyl itself, once home to tens of thousands, is now largely abandoned. The once crowded streets now echo with silence, the hustle and bustle of city life replaced by the quiet rustling of leaves and the occasional chirping of birds. Buildings that once teemed with activity now stand empty and decaying, their walls and roofs slowly succumbing to the ravages of time and nature. Yet within this desolate landscape, there are signs of life. Wildlife, undeterred by the invisible threat of radiation, has begun to thrive. The exclusion zone has unintentionally become a nature reserve, a sanctuary for animals that have adapted to life in this unique environment. The ghost town of Chernobyl serves as a poignant reminder of the past. It is a testimony to the resilience of nature and the enduring spirit of those who choose to remain. It stands as a symbol of a tragedy that unfolded decades ago, a tragedy that continues to cast a long shadow over the present. Yet there is also a message of hope. In the face of disaster, life finds a way to endure, to adapt, to reclaim. Amidst the silent ruins, life persists, a testament to the indomitable spirit of survival. In the silence of Chernobyl, the echoes of the past still linger. But the ghost of Chernobyl isn't confined to its exclusion zone. The fallout from the Chernobyl disaster has spread far beyond the borders of Ukraine, silently threading its way into the environment and wildlife, even thousands of miles away. One of the most startling examples of this silent threat is the wild boar population in Germany and Austria. In the verdant forests of these countries, wild boars forage for their favorite delicacy, the deer truffle mushroom. However, unbeknownst to them, these mushrooms have been silently absorbing cesium-137, a radioactive isotope, a lingering remnant from nuclear weapons testing conducted in the 1960s. 
While many would assume that the elevated radiation levels in these bores were a result of the Chernobyl disaster, recent research reveals a different story. The cesium-137 found in these bores is a testament to a different era of nuclear activity, showcasing the enduring impact of nuclear weapons testing on the environment. Yet Chernobyl's impact on wildlife cannot be understated. The exclusion zone has become an unintentional wildlife sanctuary, a paradoxical thriving ecosystem born from a disaster. Many species including wolves, bears and birds have made a comeback, their populations thriving in the absence of human interference. However, the long-term health effects of radiation exposure on these animals are still largely unknown. Moreover, the silent threat of Chernobyl continues to loom over the forest ecosystems beyond the exclusion zone. The radioactive isotopes released during the disaster have a long half-life, meaning they will persist in the environment for many years to come. This radioactive fallout has subtly woven itself into the fabric of the forest, being absorbed by plants and fungi, and subsequently, the animals that consume them. These findings underline the importance of responsible nuclear energy use. Even decades after a nuclear event, the environment and wildlife continue to bear the brunt of the fallout. The silent threat of Chernobyl serves as a stark reminder of the long-lasting impact of nuclear disasters on the environment, an impact that echoes far beyond the immediate vicinity of the disaster. The ripple effects of Chernobyl are still felt even thousands of miles away. Chernobyl was a harsh lesson in the potential risks of nuclear power. It was a wake-up call to the world, a stark reminder of the enormous responsibility that comes with harnessing atomic energy. The Chernobyl disaster had a profound impact on global nuclear policy. The immediate aftermath saw a surge in safety measures, regulation, and inspections. Countries around the world took a hard look at their own reactors, their safety protocols, and the potential risks they were willing to accept. But beyond the immediate response, the long-term impact on global nuclear policy was even more significant. In the wake of the disaster, the nuclear power industry went into a decline. Safety concerns were paramount, and public opinion turned against nuclear energy. The Fukushima disaster in 2011 further fueled this decline, as the world was once again reminded of the potential dangers. Nuclear power, once seen as a beacon of the future, was now viewed with skepticism and fear. However, the story of nuclear power does not end there. Recent global events have sparked a potential revival of this energy source. The conflict in Ukraine and energy supply challenges worldwide have brought nuclear power back into the spotlight. Despite the risks, experts believe that modern reactors are designed to operate safely, and the industry's future seems resilient. The Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Ukraine, for instance, narrowly avoided disaster when it came under fire during the recent conflict. The facility was safe due to most reactors being offline and the robust containment structures in place. This highlights the advancements in nuclear safety since the days of Chernobyl and Fukushima. But this potential revival of nuclear power comes with a caveat, the experience of Chernobyl must not be forgotten. The lessons learned from that disaster need to be at the forefront of any discussion about nuclear power. The industry must ensure that safety remains a top priority that regulations are stringent and enforced, and that the potential risks are fully understood. The story of Chernobyl is also a story of the long-lasting impact of nuclear disasters. The recent discovery of high levels of cesium-137 in wild boars in Germany and Austria, not from Chernobyl but from nuclear weapons testing in the 1960s, highlights the long-lasting impact of nuclear activities on the environment. This serves as a reminder that the effects of a nuclear disaster can last for decades, even centuries. As we look to the future as we grapple with energy supply challenges and the need to transition to cleaner energy sources, the role of nuclear power is once again under scrutiny. It offers the promise of abundant low-carbon energy, but it also carries the risk of catastrophic disasters. The question remains, have we truly learned from Chernobyl? Have we learned to respect the power we wield? to ensure the safety of our reactors, to mitigate the risks? As we contemplate a potential revival of nuclear power, these are the questions we must ask ourselves. The lessons of Chernobyl must not be forgotten, for they hold the key to a safe and sustainable nuclear future. Not all reactors are built the same, some are safer than others. To understand this, we need to journey across Ukraine to the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Much like Chernobyl, this facility has faced its share of challenges. 
but unlike its ill-fated counterpart, it has managed to avoid catastrophe. The key difference, the type of reactor they use. Chernobyl was powered by RBMK reactors, a design that, while effective, carried significant risks. RBMKs are high-power reactors that use graphite as a moderator and water as a coolant. The combination of these elements created an unstable environment. When the coolant water turned into steam, it could lead to an increase in reactivity, creating a positive feedback loop that could result in an uncontrollable power surge. This is exactly what happened in the early hours of April 26, 1986 at Chernobyl. In contrast, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is equipped with VVR reactors, a safer design that incorporates lessons learned from Chernobyl. VVR reactors are pressurized water reactors. They use water as both a coolant and a neutron moderator. This dual role of water in VVR reactors leads to a negative feedback loop, where an increase in temperature actually decreases reactivity, providing an inherent safety feature. In 2022, when the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant came under fire, it was this VVR technology that helped to avert a potential disaster. The fire was contained to an administrative building, rather than a reactor or radioactive waste storage area. Even if the worst-case scenario had occurred, a grid failure, experts agree that the robust containment structures of the VVR reactors would have prevented a Chernobyl-like catastrophe. It's important to remember that while nuclear power carries inherent risks, it also presents vast potential. Advances in technology and design, such as the transition from RBMK to VVR reactors, have made nuclear power safer than it was in the past. Today's reactors are designed to contain and control their power to prevent the kind of runaway reaction that led to the Chernobyl disaster. This tale of two reactors is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to learn from our mistakes. It's a story of how we can take a technology that once brought disaster and reimagine it in a way that not only avoids repeating past catastrophes, but also offers a path towards a more sustainable future. While nuclear power carries risks, advances in technology have made it safer than ever before. Nuclear power stands at a crossroads between its troubled past and its potential future. The energy landscape is evolving and as we navigate this shift, the role of nuclear power is under intense scrutiny. Not long ago, the nuclear power industry seemed to be on the decline. The shadow of disastrous events like Chernobyl and Fukushima loomed large, with safety concerns leading many to question whether the risks of nuclear power outweighed the benefits. But recent global events have sparked a potential renaissance. Energy supply challenges and the escalating urgency of the climate crisis have brought nuclear power back into the spotlight. Modern nuclear reactors are a far cry from their predecessors. They are designed with robust safety measures to prevent the kind of catastrophic failures we've seen in the past. The Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Ukraine, for instance, withstood a fire during a conflict, thanks to its reactors being offline and its robust containment structures. The incident served as a stark reminder of the potential risks, but also highlighted the advancements in safety. Yet, the debate around nuclear power is far from settled. On one hand, nuclear power offers a low-carbon energy source that can operate around the clock, unlike solar and wind power. It could be a crucial tool in our fight against climate change, providing a steady supply of clean energy. On the other hand, the risks associated with nuclear power are considerable. The long-lasting impact of nuclear disasters is still felt today, as we see with the surprisingly radioactive wild boars in Germany and Austria, a legacy of nuclear weapons testing in the 60s, it's a poignant reminder of the potential environmental consequences of mishandling nuclear energy. Public opinion on nuclear energy is varied, influenced by a complex mix of factors. Energy demand, political decisions, and historical experiences all play a role in shaping attitudes. For some, the promise of low-carbon energy is compelling. For others, the potential for accidents is a concern too great to overlook. So, as we stand at this crossroads, the future of nuclear power hangs in the balance. The challenges are clear. To harness the potential of nuclear power, we must ensure its safe and responsible use. We must learn from the past and use it to inform our future, designing robust safety measures, investing in research and development, and fostering an informed public dialogue around nuclear power. The energy transition is a journey, and nuclear power is one of the many paths we might take. As we look towards a cleaner, greener future, will nuclear power play a part? Chernobyl is more than just a disaster, it's a lesson for humanity. A lesson that reverberates across decades, touching corners of the world in surprising ways. It's the unseen fallout that permeates the environment. 
like the cesium-137 discovered in wild boars in Germany, absorbed from deer truffle mushrooms, a legacy not from Chernobyl but from nuclear weapons testing in the 60s. The ill-fated day of April 26, 1986, when the reactor exploded, continues to cast a long shadow over the ghost town that Chernobyl has become. But it's not just a tale of abandonment, it's a story of resilience, of the roughly 1,000 people who still call this place home, a testament to human tenacity in the face of adversity. The silent threat of nuclear energy is ever-present, even in the robust containment structures of modern reactors like those at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The specter of a nuclear meltdown looms large, a stark reminder of the potential perils that nuclear energy holds. Yet it's also a tale of two reactors, of lessons learned and improvements made. The VVR reactors of Zaporizhia, safer than the RBMK reactors at Chernobyl, illustrate our capacity to learn, to adapt, and to strive for better. The future of nuclear power is still a topic of heated debate. The potential risks are undeniable, yet so too is the promise it holds as we navigate the challenges of our energy transition. Public opinion varies, influenced by factors such as energy demand and political decisions, but the resilience of the industry is evident. Even after nearly four decades, Chernobyl stands as a stark reminder of the power and the perils of nuclear energy. As we move forward, let Chernobyl's lessons guide us in our quest for a sustainable future. And remember, for more enlightening explorations into the pages of history, subscribe to our YouTube channel, History Facts. Let's keep delving deeper together.